Hi Anime Crafters! Today I'm starting a new monthly series for anime themed bullet journals. And in honor of the new season coming up, the theme for the month of August is My Hero Academia. Also, because it's one of my favorite animes, I make any excuse to do a craft based on this anime. So without further ado, on to the journal. first spread is set to a beach theme. I wanted it to be fairly simple and I decided to use watercolor to paint out Dagoba Beach. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. Most fans will know that this beach is the one that All Might and Midoriya cleaned up during their training and it's also the beach where they met after All Might's battle with All For One. These scenes are probably some of my favorite scenes so I wanted to lay it out into the spread. Painting the beach, I chose sunset colors and mixed them. I used a tissue for the excess paint and I also used it to give a look of clouds in the sky. I painted the water lighter as it was closer to shore and darker into the horizon. I also sketched to dock out and painted it in brown. I did a simple header font for the month and there's my intro spread. The next spread, it's a month at a glance. I did a simple grid with blue highlight for the day headers, and I did a similar font style I did on the intro page. Here I write all the numbers for the days on each block for the month of August and we have a nice looking calendar for the month that I can put, you know, schedules or birthdays or anything that I might forget for that month. If you want to recreate this galaxy look, you can just mix purple, pinks, and blues on wet paper and then swirl your brush around on the paper and it'll kind of do this naturally. I use a hair dryer to dry it up quicker so that I can write on it and use gel white pen to make the, the stars. I also brought out the watercolors for this one because I wanted to do some galaxy art. I used a reference photo for the art based on One For All. When we see All Might use One For All, uh, occasionally the previous holders appear to be represented by a series of colors. So I drew out the colors like a constellation on this galaxy art piece. I also did some digital drawings of my favorite characters and pasted them as a border on the bottom. And then I also added my current subscriber count. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. For my next spread, I did a workout tracker. I'm planning on going to the gym more regularly in August, and I'm hoping that filling in workouts might motivate me a bit more. Uh, I have blocks for the dates, and then I'm going to create a legend for cardio, leg and arm toning, yoga, or if I didn't work out at all. I also used an image of All Might. I sketched it out uh, for him flexing, and then I did a graded wash with watercolor pencils. I mixed them with water later on, but I forgot to film it, so the colors look pretty separated right now. The next spread is a sleep tracker. Uh, this one is kind of a hot mess. Uh, I did the graph and I have Ayazawa in a sleeping bag at the top. My sketch turned out terrible, so then I tried to print it out in watercolor the paper, but the paper was too thin and it got muddy looking. I later printed out a digital watercolor sketch and I pasted it to cover the mistakes, which I'll show at the end of the video, but currently you won't be able to see that. The next spreads I did together, first by sketching them out and then coloring them in with watercolor and then I finished them individually off. I did Jiro for the playlist spread. Uh, this is the spread I'm going to put with the music that I'm liking right now. Uh, I thought she fit perfectly for that. I also used Kaminari for the brain dump piece. 
I made his face when he overextends his powers because I thought it fit well. My brain dump area is where I'm going to put ideas like ones I have for videos or just my thoughts in general. Finally, for the playlist, I printed out album covers for my favorite songs of the month. I got this idea from a bullet journal YouTuber called Amanda Rach Lee, so I thought it looked really nice on this spread. On to my last two spreads. This next one is a mood tracker. I use some of my digital drawings, which I will post on my website if you'd like to use them. They represent very limited amount of emotions, but I'm treating them more like categories. I used a 31 day grid and I can fill in for multiple emotions on the page if I feel like it. And last but not least, I have my budget tracker. I'm going to use this to track large expenses and my overall weekly spending. I used Uraka for this page because she talks about wanting to become a hero to provide a comfortable life for her family. And I think that's a good goal to aspire to, so I'm going to put a little quote here just to remind me to keep a budget. So here is all of them done. You can see some of my corrections and where I erased the pencil. And also I made some changes to the sleep tracker. So now you can see where I track energy and um, you can see how I corrected some of the mistakes that I did. I'm gonna start doing this at the same time every month. So let me know what themes you would like to see in future bullet journals. Also, if you're inspired to do a bullet journal from this video, send me some of your spreads to my Instagram. I'd be pretty excited to see them. Thanks for watching. Anime Crafty.